much. Agony and pain. This is how the people of Agbo are feeling after the dreadful night of the explosion. On a visit to St. John Catholic Hospital, Arise News crew met some of the burn victims undergoing treatment. Though we assessed them even before taking them in, so that those that we are um, having minor burns were at the ones we... Because here it's not a burn center. Um, you have a burn center in major in teaching hospital. So those that had um, fish, those that has facial bones, that had um, bones at the perineal region, um, bones 100% um, uh, bone, uh, above 50% bone, we refer them to FMC. Why those that have just minor bones, we admit them here. As you can see, none of them is unconscious. They are talking well, they are feeding, and uh, they are doing well. The house got born, the car in the compound got born, things in the house got born. Then I look for my brother, they say my brother and one other one is in Catholic maternity, which is this hospital right now. Then one is in UBTH, Bini. Then two are in Anoma Hospital over here in Agbo. Then one is in Abavo Hospital, while the last one is in Ibuzo Hospital. So total of about seven right now. Residents of the area where the explosion occurred as seeking the evacuation of gas plants located in residential areas to avoid future disasters. This man lost three members of his family, his mother and two of his children. Others like these young boys are recuperating. When they came to flow the gas, the something was hot. They told the owner that she wait so that the something would be cold. Later they would do it. But he refused. He was in a hurry. So as they were trying to flow the gas, they found out that there was a little leakage. Then I ran away. Oh, well, we knew what, the, what was happening. The, something, the flame went up. The flame started killing different people. I lost two of my children, along with my mother. Well, I'm in my residential home outside the compound. I was planning to drive out then. When I heard the noise, and I like, let me check the back of my house to see what's going on. So we check, we find out there's nothing. And the second blast we hear was, the next thing we just saw was the flame of a fire. I want to reach our house, and my brother closed the door of the motorway door open to drive come out, and I can't lie down. The fire already reached our house, finished. I can't go inside the, inside the kitchen and off the gas. Six dead and more than 11 people hospitalized. Behind me is the building that caused the major fire explosion on Friday, killing more than four people. The people are calling on the government to restrict gas plant operation in residential areas. Jemima Boloko, Arise News, Delta State Agro.